guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be playing a game that I've just learned about, actually uh, doing one of my live streams, and it's called The Lone Ranger, um, obviously based on The Lone Ranger. Uh, and it's it's crazy that I didn't know this game existed, like way back in the day, during the Nintendo days, but you know, there was a lot of Nintendo games. Obviously, you, well, unless you were a real collector or uh, had a lot of money, you didn't get to buy every single game that came on the shelf. Or, and, you know, today we have the internet, and so a lot of new games that come out, people get to learn about them right away. Um, so unless you had Nintendo Power, or you knew somebody that owned a game or something like that, um, or you saw it in a rental store and you actually liked it, uh, it was kind of hard to stay on top of every single game that came out. And I kind of think this one might have slipped under the radar for a lot of people. So I thought I'd give it another shot and uh, play a little bit. Uh, it's kind of neat. And so, let's get to the game. It gives you this little um, bullseye thing, I think because it uses the zapper gun. But I'm not going to be using the zapper gun for this. First off, that music is incredible. I <laughs> mean... You gotta love that music. Like, for 8-bit sound, that's pretty cool. You get this nice little opening scene here. Now, I'm not really a Lone Ranger fan. I don't really, like, I didn't really watch anything of that nature. I didn't really, uh, you know, partake in any of the books or anything like that. But uh, I am a fan of like some of the old West film style, you know, well, some of the more modern westerns, like the ones from the 90s and stuff I like, like Tombstone and Gun Guns and all that. So let's, uh, let's do the start. So here's where it lets you choose a zapper or a controller. Um, if I was on my TV and if I had this actually in my console, I would probably try the zapper, but um, unfortunately I have to do this through the emulator. Gives you a little story about what's going on. <laughs> 1800s. So it's pretty much just a. Uh, I'll let you know what you're going to be doing and why you're there. like it wants to let you skip it, so... Alright, so there we are. There's Kimosabi. <laughs> you need a strong horse for your journey. Find Silver, the legendary white horse. There are rumors that he has been seen in Tucson. So, it kind of gives you this outer world map that's, you know, sort of like... Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Zelda 2. Um, especially when you get to go into the town, and then you, you know, you're now bigger size, and there's people wandering around. Uh, it's also like Dragon Warrior, too, in a sense. And, you know, there's a few of these top-down RPG styles. So I would have really enjoyed playing this, you know, back in the day. You know, another one I kind of uh, said it was similar to was, like, Star Tropics. Uh, especially the graphics. Oh, this guy is hostile. So you actually get to fight, too, in the little town. You can go into the station, it's a train, and then there's a uh, gun shop. Excuse me, mister, do you want to buy something? Um, so I got $105. I guess I got some money, maybe when I beat up that, uh, that cowboy guy. So you buy some TNT. Let's buy some TNT. Sure. That's okay. Now, one thing I had to figure out when I started playing this was, uh, you know, the weapon part of it. Because uh, you got your pause button, and then you got your select button. And uh, so if you look down there in the right-hand corner, it tells you there's, I guess that's the dynamite that I just bought. That's my fist. So that's my weapon of choice right now, and my fist. And you got some, I guess, I don't know if those are like brass bullets or something, or lead bullets, and then uh, silver bullets or something. I guess there's a difference. Um, I don't have the manual to this game, so I'm sure it explains it pretty well in there. I have no idea. <laughs> I think she was answering my question. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't bring a knife or a fist to a gunfight. Alright, so I picked up some money. There's someone in this town who has a reliable tip. Better talk. Much like in all the other Nintendo games of the day, this one kind of has that, um... You know, some, some of the messages are kind of uh, cryptic, and some are... they make sense, and some just feel like they're a waste of time. Let's try and shoot this guy. Ooh, I got him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was something I didn't notice also on the bottom there, was the, your rounds. The, how many bullets you have. Let's just go in here. Are you looking for a white horse? Yes, I am. He's seen near our town. Now he's gone. <laughs> the other side of the river. Alright, so let's get out of the town so I can look at more of the map. So the graphics are a little bit different than, say, like, um, the Zelda graphics, and, you know, I, I think this this kind of looks a little bit more to me like the, the Star Tropic style of graphics. And there's our horse, Kimosabi. There's a silver... There's silver, but you cannot cross the river. The bridge has been pulled up. So I'm assuming you have to get there by other means. Then you got these confrontational stages, where you gotta be quick with your with your gunfight. I notice the uh, this bullet that I'm using seems to have a limited range. Maybe that's the uh, the difference. No. Nope. Okay. Interesting to know what the difference is. Oh, oh, oh man. But if you def if you know the inference, uh, the difference, and you've played this before, feel free to leave a comment down below. Whoa! He's hiding behind a cactus. I love how you can always dance around a bullet. Like, nope, nope. Uh oh! Oh, I just got shot. And I got shot again. Bullets don't look too uh, too realistic. There, they're just little tiny balls. You guys are all guarding the entrance to that town over there. Whoa! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Continue. It's also, you know, like you have to stay on this white path. You cannot just venture off into the wherever you want. So it does kind of follow that logic of, uh, you know, you have to find your way around. That's, there's a train. Actually, you can get on a train, too. It's kind of neat. You are in Carson City. Who's this guy? Firing range. Why not practice? bullets you must hit all the targets. For ten dollars for one game, all set. Sure. Here's where it'd be cool having the actual um, gun, like the uh, zapper gun. Right now I'm just using the uh, D-pad, which is, you know, not optimal for this kind of thing. Although I think on the uh, on the emulator, I, th I think I saw someone say in, in the comments section when I was playing this live um, that you could use your mouse, so that might actually be a little bit better. I think I failed on that one miserably. I'll see you later. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty cool game, and I thought, you know, it'd just be fun to just show it off a little bit. Maybe it's the type of game you're interested in. If you're looking for something you might not have played yet on Nintendo. If you're into this style of game, let's get on the train. It's definitely a game I think I'm gonna, you know, spend some good time. Nowhere. I guess that's a yes or no. <laughs> get on the train. 
music seems to be pretty spot on for a western style. Thank you. But yeah, I mean, this game plays pretty fun. It's, uh, it's interesting. I, you know, I remember looking for games like this when I, you know, first completed Zelda. And I wanted to find some more, kind of this, this style of top-down game. And, uh, this would have been perfect. You know, I would have probably played this until I completed it. If I could complete it. And even just the idea that it uses the zapper, because that was another thing for me, was always wanting to find games that could use the zapper, and this seems like it would probably play both, so... You know, why not? Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show this game off. Um, I think it was one of those ones that went under the radar. I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing it. Um, I have no idea how rare it is, or if it's uh, if it's expensive. If you if you want to buy an actual cartridge copy of it, It'd be good to look into that and, and see if these these are like rare, expensive. If they came out late, um, you never know. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Throw some comments down below. Let me know if this is the type of game you would love to play or try. Uh, looks like fun. And if you have played it, try and let me know <laughs> some of the stuff that I was asking, like. What's the difference with those bullets? Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.